everyone! It's Chris and welcome back to my DIY channel. I'm in the mood for a project and thankfully I'm going out to buy some mangoes. Hopefully we can find something out there that we can turn from drab to fab. Let's go! All right, you know what? These crates are really calling out to me, and I think I could upgrade them to something chic and pretty, so let's give it a try. We've got our mangoes, and we've got our crates. We're ready to make some DIY magic back at the workshop. This is gonna be so fun. This is the crate that I got from the fruit stand, which I'm going to clean with a brush and a damp cloth. I've already measured and cut my half inch plywood to match the opening of my crate, and I'm now going to sand all surfaces until they're smooth, and afterwards, I'm going to wipe the sanding dust off with a cloth. Fill all holes with wood filler, let dry thoroughly, and then afterwards, sand until smooth. It's time to stain the wood. The Boysen Oil Wood Stain is formulated to protect interior woodwork like cabinets, paneling, and furniture. Today, I'm using the Boysen Oil Wood Stain Walnut. Thoroughly stir it before use. Apply Boysen Oil Wood Stain directly on bare wood. Use a smaller brush for the harder to reach area. Reapply for a darker shade and leave each coat for 8 hours. Afterwards, lightly wipe off excess oil wood stain along the grain with a clean rag before applying Hudson Timber Coat. Remember to shake the Hudson Timber Coat for 20 seconds before letting it sit for 10 minutes. Once that's done, apply the first coat, and after an hour, apply the second coat. Now, we let it cure for 7 days. For the ottoman upholstery, prepare your desired fabric. Cut a piece of 2 inch foam to fit the top of the plywood board. Wrap the fabric tightly around the foam and tack the sides. Start at the corner and then work your way around. Then, attach a piece of black fabric as cover for the back. Attach the cushion to the top of the crate using pivot hinges. And there you have it! <laughs> now we have a fancy ottoman and at the same time storage for your things. Throw stuff in there like remote controls, blankets, magazines, so they don't add clutter to your space. I hope you liked this video, and for more DIY content, check out Studio B and MyVoiceIn.com. I'll see you in the next episode! Bye!